What up, YouTube? So it has been a very long and hard and sexy hot minute since I've made a video for everyone. Well, uh, it's probably been, what, a couple months? So I will apologize to any new subscribers that I haven't you haven't seen a video in this time period. Uh, I have, I've been struggling pretty hard and, and making some mistakes, but I'm back and I'm back in Mega Van and we're gonna go on some more adventures. But yeah, things have been pretty rough for me, not gonna lie. I've been in the van, but then I was not in the van, and then I decided to go back living in the van, and then I decided to not live in the van, uh, and now I've decided to live back in the van because regular house is just not for me. I can't do it, can't do it anymore. I, I just can't, <laughs> it's weird. I'm gonna bring you guys to this little chill spot that I used to go to, uh, back in the day and I'll tell you some stories about there when we get there and there's a little abandoned house and then after that we're gonna go to a dispersed campsite at a state forest or actually it's not a state forest I think it's just state land I forget the name of the place so yeah let's go check out this little secret spot of mine and we'll head to the campsite right away all right we're at the park all right so I'm chilling at the bench here it's just a nice little paved path. There's a disc golfing course, which I should take actually, I got some discs. You can see a disc right there, a little hole. Yeah, this little park is along the Mississippi River. Here's my secret little offshoot. I don't think you're supposed to go down here, but we're going down here. Cause I don't care. A little muddy though. All right, so I think this is a little trail here for one secret spot. Deep right here. Ooh, ooh. I don't see anybody to catch me awkwardly talking to the camera. Let's carefully make our way. Oh, Jesus, this is way steeper than I thought it was gonna be. I don't think anybody's gonna be down here. Ah, yes. My secret little spot here. As you can see, big hill we just came down. Baby hill for me. Oh, look at this. Check this out. Is this like an inner tube or something? Oh yeah, it definitely is. There's the air nozzle. Huh. Interesting. Boy, it stinks right here. It is so gross. Dead fish.
so we made it to a secret spot so I, there is no trespassing signs so i don't know if i'm actually trespassing or not because the signs are up there and usually it's behind the signs where the property line markers is and so i I don't know if this is on the property or not, but I do know the abandoned building right here is on the property. And I just saw a security guard roll through, so I don't know if I want to risk it. Go up there and show you guys. But there is like, I remember going in there last time, uh, many years ago, so I don't know if it would be the same, but there's like this old electrical equipment in there and it's really neat. All right, so I'm gonna be quiet. I decided to go up to the abandoned building which is just right over here. You can see the electrical box right there. I can hear a truck up there just idling. So, <laughs> I think I should probably not attempt this. It sounds like he's stuck or something. He's, it's just like, rum, rum, idle, rum, rum. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna attempt it. I'm kind of curious though, just to peek over there. <laughs> random electrical box here no idea what any of that is all right plan aborted so i did go up to where the abandoned building was and there 100 percent was a truck just sitting there and i thought it was a building so i started walking up to it and then i realized it was a truck and so, <laughs> and so i stood there and i didn't hear anybody so i don't know if he was sitting in the truck so I just turned around and we're going back to the old mega van before uh, I get in trouble. <laughs> so yeah, let's get let's get to the campsite. Enough of this sneaking around stuff. I'm not stealth camping today. I kind of wish I was though. This is fun. Check it out. A little Halloween bucket. Looks pretty new actually. I can't believe it's that nice. It must have been from last Halloween. There's a guy out of the boat in the river right now. You can probably hear him easily. He just smashed onto a rock and got stuck in the middle of the river. Jeez, he must have an old crappy motor on that thing or something. All right, we made it back. We're legal, we're safe. I just passed another guy. He was dressed in all black going the same direction so he probably had the same idea as me good for him back on the baby trail for babies all right i made it back to mega van i didn't record because a bunch of people were next to me staring at me really awkwardly probably thinking i'm a creep in a white van but we're going nobody's coming but yeah we're on the way this should only take us like 15 minutes or so so let's do it Alright, we have made it. So I decided to pull it in sideways here. As you can see, a tiny little mega van easily can accomplish this. So here's my view. There's a lake back here. It is kind of right off the road here. It is super windy. And so <laughs> Hey, let me stand behind the van. All right, it is super windy. So I decided to pull in sideways. And so I can have my side door open just a little bit. So I'm not getting rammed with uh, this crazy wind. It's like 20 mile an hour wind. Well, there we have it, folks. That's where I'm gonna be chilling. Now that I parked sideways, the wind's kind of dying. But I think I'll stay, still stay sideways here. There's a little fire pit down here. Let's check it out. Well, it looks like it used to be a fire pit. I don't know what the heck it is now. Looks like people sit here. There's a little poker stick. Definitely a place to have fire. Maybe I should make a fire tonight, actually. Oh, mega van. see if I can get out here and uh, get some good view of the lake. 
Oh, there's a ton of firewood over there I should be grabbing. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, we can walk right out of here. Do I want to? Yeah, let's do it. Cave in on me? No? Look at this. Probably could have went, kept going around and find a different spot that wasn't a, a 50 mile an hour wind coming off the lake. <laughs> but I think we're gonna manage for a fire. I don't know what to do with the fire. I might makeshift one right here. That way I can sit inside the van and look at the fire. And then the smoke. Smoke won't go into the van. I don't know. There we have it. There's my beautiful view. Be there's my beautiful view. So I'm thinking of putting my campfire like over there on the edge so the smoke goes the other way. All right, so I grabbed a little bit of firewood here. I actually found another pile over here. Found something else too that someone created, which is kind of neat. Boy, that wind is nuts. So it looks like someone's up. Someone else has a little secret stash of wood right here this way check it out someone carved a like a little seat bench here almost oh yeah this is a nice spot actually especially if you had a nice cute girlfriend with you you could cuddle up right here do some things have the lake view beautiful Alrighty, so we vibing now. Uh, I decided to sit in the van because that wind's getting kind of chilly, and it's still it's still whipping, dude. It's it's nuts out there. So I got a little bit of firewood, but the firewood feels feels like it's not going to burn very wood, very wood, very well. <laughs> so not sure if I'm even to a, going to attempt a fire, to be honest. But for now, I think I'm going to eat something here, and of course. <laughs> You all know me. I still got some rice packets that I haven't eaten yet. Uh, I even have actually some some cheap ramen I might actually throw in there as well. So I'm thinking, what am I thinking? I don't know, I'm never thinking to be honest. I love these sodium filled packets. Actually, you know what? I think I'll do Spanish rice. And I think I have some corn actually. Don't they? Oh wow, that is cold. Ooh, that is really cold. I should probably I should probably let these thaw out or something. Yeah, I should probably definitely leave this open. These were definitely frozen. <laughs> this one looks like it's coming open actually. Is it? This one's got a lot of condensation on it, so yeah, let's Let's leave this open. <laughs> Nothing ex has exploded, so that's good. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna make the classic old Spanish rice that I made in my other videos. And we're just gonna use this good old can of Walmart corn here. And uh, I think that'll be fine. I got some chips and I do have a little bit of bread and I can make like a peanut butter sandwich along with it. Don't I have chips? I got one tiny bag of Doritos. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat. Rice, corn, Doritos. Boom. All right. I was a gourmet chef it up. You all know how I do it. And if you're new to the channel, which you probably are because I haven't uploaded in forever. Oh, you're about to see this gourmet chef in action. I'm just kidding actually, I can actually cook. People probably don't believe me. 
but I'm just too broke right now to actually afford food I can cook. <laughs> so we're just gonna rock the old rice. I'm gonna cook it at the same time too. Make sure you get that sodium all mixed up. Tip number one. Oh, that's already juicing out. Expertise opening, by the way. Oh, it's definitely frozen. <laughs> wow. Whoa, wow. Pro tip number two. Shove all your garbage into the can. Yeah, look at this. It is, there's there's literally ice in here. We'll use this bad boy. Boy, it doesn't get any better than this. Look at that. Delish. Honestly, when you add the corn with the taco, or what the heck did I even just cook? Spanish rice? I don't know, whatever I just cooked, and you add corn with it, it's actually pretty good. Very Midwestern of me to say, but hey, it, it, it works. So I totally messed up, and I was just eating that sodium rice, watching YouTube, and I totally missed the sunset for you guys. So we're gonna walk down. It's kind of still there. Oh, do you hear that? That's a good sign for old Minnesota. When you hear that, that means spring and summer is right here. Wait, you know what's crazy? The wind completely died off. There's literally no wind now. It is very nice. I can still kind of hear a little breeze. But wow. It was just like, Whoa! and now it's just nothing. Nice. Well, I wasn't going to do a fire, but now there's no wind, maybe I will do a fire. some basic fire starter nothing crazy I slept all right. It was kind of a lot of traffic, it seemed like. I suppose it is a Friday, so it makes sense. Or it was a Friday. Today's Saturday now. So it makes sense why it would be a little more traffic. There's a lot more traffic that was at like midnight, 1 a.m. That was kind of, kind of weird. Yeah, I decided to make some morning coffee. It's a little chilly. My Pac-Man cup. 
so yeah i think i'm just gonna end it here i got nothing else to show you guys today so thanks for watching y'all peace Thank you.